I came back to 306, back to 311, and then finally to where I can say, yes, I finished the freaking entire challenge, man. <laughs> What's happening, YouTube? What's going on? So, man, I've been celebrating. I finally finished the Sally Up, Sally Down Challenge. Finally, man. And so what I want to do, I want to do a nice reflection review, man, so that I could just go over some interesting points. So if you're interested in getting stronger at push-ups, man, you want to watch and see what I have to say, man, because now I'm talking from experience. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play my entire challenge, man, me finally completing it. And I'm going to go over what happened since the beginning all the way to my freaking current 11 month and 26 day fiasco. So let's get to it. Okay, man. Rolling. Just do a little flex in there before it begins. Okay, here we go. So I started this Sally Up, Sally Down challenge March 1st. 2023 <laughs> where I collapsed at a minute and 29 seconds and then from that day I wrote it down I documented it it's filmed and I started to attempt more challenges to see what happens man and so what happened was that I went to 145 and then I went to like 149 and then by 150, I stayed there for a little bit. And then I shot up to two minutes. And then I freaking was lying within two minutes, right? And I couldn't pop out of two minutes and four seconds, which is out of that drop that you just saw, right? And so I stayed in that pocket between like two minutes and 204 for such a long time, maybe a month or something like that. And then what I started to do is that to get stronger, I started to implement incline push-ups, decline push-ups, weighted push-ups. I tried the push-ups off my knees, off my knees with a weighted vest. I even stacked on like a, a kilo inside the vest and everything just to get stronger and it worked, man. And so, once I popped out of 204, I started to inch into 215, 216, 217. Now, mind you, man, I did 77 challenges, man. So through all these challenges, I hung in there. There was times where I said, okay, well, this is my capacity. This is how, I sh how strong I am. Maybe I should just accept that I'm this strong when I got stuck for so long. But I kept on and kept on and kept on and kept on, man. And so during times, man, where I got to 230, man, then I got to 240 during that time, I started to feel like I'm never going to quit, man. I'm just going to continue and continue and continue. And that's what I did. Many times, I would go to 240, 250, and then sink to 230. And I was like, what's going on? And I started to learn so much about my body. I started to see that. What's going on with sleep? What's going on with my nutrition? What's going on with my head? And so a lot of that stuff laid freaking apart. And so I made it to three minutes, man. And I stayed there for a minute. I shot up to 306. And then from 306, I shot up to 311. After shooting up to 311, I could not freaking surpass that PR for another three months or another two months, two or three months, man. And so I freaking dropped to like 230 and I increased to 240, I got sick, so I stayed low and it took a while for me to freaking get all my energy back, man. And so finally, man, I went ahead and I did some more drills, more drills with weighted vests and everything. And finally, man, I, Came back to 306, back to 311, and then finally to where I can say, yes! I finished the freaking entire challenge, man. And now this here is an actual challenge because each time, I don't know what the hell is gonna happen, man. I'm like facing something where I cannot predict. I thought that I could predict, okay, so I did this and I did this and I did this and I could get stronger. No, man, the body, the way my body works is that, man, when I face a certain 
exercise like this, I had no idea what I was gonna do. So I was the one that it was, was in for either a surprise or a setback. Either I'm coasting or what should I do? And so I tried so many different ways, man. And so, man, it's completed, man. So now the next thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna repeat this challenge here. This is my new challenge template, which I'm gonna follow, which I want to make sure that I could do it again at least five times before I extend it to four minutes. Cause I'm never gonna stop this challenge. Why go so far, 11 months and 26 days to then just say, okay, I accomplished it and walk away. And so I'll never walk away, man, because push-ups is a great freaking exercise to do. It's short, man, it's only three and a half minutes, so it's really not asking for a lot. And so now when it's four minutes, that's still not asking for a lot. And so I'm gonna face that. And so my next challenge is gonna happen maybe tomorrow, man. I, who knows, man? And so I'm just gonna go by feel now. Now that I did it, it's gonna be a feel where I just go, let's drop to the challenge today, bro. And I'm just gonna draw to it, man. And then see what happens. Report every single attempt is recorded. It's in a playlist. If you wanna see the playlist, the playlist will be in the description. Also, this challenge here, man, why don't you try it? It's my music, man. I did the remix to it as well. I did two remixes, man. Because, you know, when I played the original, I got copyright claims, so I got scared. I'm like, okay, so I'm not gonna use that. So anyway, man. This freaking is my celebration for completing the Sally Up, Sally Down challenge. And until the next one, catch up!